Hello everyone. I haven't prepared anything and I drank some pints of beer, so it's not the perfect combination. But I would start when Fabrio starts as we have to remember our heroes, people that are languished in prison, that are harassed and persecuted, homes and families, in the workplace, at their studies for being ex-Muslims, for being open about their opinions. And um, I, I, I won't lie, I always feel depressed when I receive all those emails from people around the world that suffer so much for just being open about their opinions and leave religion behind. Um, today I'm happy that I can be here today and we can have a public, sort of a public event that we celebrate the 8th anniversary of the Council of Ex-Muslims um, and um, um, especially in Ramadan which is, <laughs> even if it's uh, like the best month for Muslims but for ex-Muslims as well, we always, I remember in Morocco we always gather in houses of some some fellow ex-Muslim and ate together in silence, <laughs> hiding, like closing the windows, closing the doors, trying not to have any food cooked, like we cook by night to so not have the smells and all that. And, and this is the month where we have the best conversations, the best like kind of uh, social interaction between atheists, like looking for some place to get alcohol and all that. So, <laughs> yeah, so. I'm, I'm really happy today, I'm really happy that I'm involved with the Council of Ex-Muslims and really happy to see you all, all of you here today because it means a lot for me. Um, uh, leaving Islam for me it was the story of my life. I, I never get to, to know my family, to know my brothers and sisters. I never had to, I, I never got the chance to have this normal relation with them and they never talked to me in such a long time that for someone who's 24 years old, it just looked like eternity. I never, uh, I don't remember the voice of my mother anymore. And this is the price of me living in Islam. And um, I, I hope that maybe the next generation will have to pay that price for living in Islam. We'll, they won't have to pay that price. And I hope that with more progressive Muslims that are coming, a liberal Muslim, there would be more space for all of us to say what, what we think, what we want to say, change our opinions, be part time Muslims, Muslims every Friday, maybe whatever, gay Muslims, gay, um, gay with ISIS, whatever, and everyone respects each other. Um, what am I gonna say? Yeah, um, I, I, I really, I really, I really um, like, I appreciate that you're here and I, I, I would be really happy if all of us would do something, even the smallest um, step to push this battle for universal human rights, for the right to think and the right to say what we think and the right to everyone to have a decent life, whatever their opinions are, whatever their far right or ISIS, whatever, to live in a, in a um, 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 a state of citizenship which doesn't have any privilege for a religious or non-religious belief. Thank you so much. Thank you.